Stop doom scrolling. We did it for you. Here's what you need to know with Amy and Sean on 1027 VGS. The lineup for the 10th anniversary of Life is Beautiful announced yesterday. Here's you'll see downtown this September. The Killers, Kendrick Lamar, BB Rexa, Nelly, along with more indie bands like Baby Kangaroo, Just Another Sunday Afternoon, and Jorgen. I just made those ones up. Those are actually, they, they don't exist at all. Uh, there's a lot of that, it seems like. Yeah. Uh, mixed reception to the lineup. Read the story at 1027 VGS.com. It's the 10th anniversary. Like, most of their lineups are pretty good. Mm-hmm. But it seems like every three or four years, they hit you with ones like, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that it's the experience of going, right? Because you can't catch any, or all the bands anyways. But I think that they should have thrown somebody like huge in the mix. It had to be somebody huge for the 10th. But how do you do it? I don't know. There are so many big concerts that are coming here now. I know. So many festivals. Like, this is literally everyone that was left. Mm-hmm. I don't know who else you get. Yeah, I know. So, I know. Yeah, but uh, 1027VGS.com, we got a story there. Uh, Governor Lombardo has proposed changes to the state's election laws requiring ID to vote and limiting mail-in voting to only accepting ballots that have been received by election day. Now, currently, mail-in ballots can be received by the state as late as four days after election day, <laughs> which is wow. why, like, Nevada's always the last always one. Always late. And I, I, now I'm a fan of universal mail in uh, voting, but I'm also a fan of like having somewhat nearer results. Right. Like, like let's maybe get ahead on voting, yeah. uh, on, on counting the mail in votes. We, we don't even open them until the day of. That's like when you uh, forget to turn in your homework yes, and they're like, you're just cramming fine. last second. You've got till like Friday. Brutal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Colorado, they're all mail-in ballots. Universal there. They require ballots in by election day. Uh, proposal would allow the DMV to issue free ID cards in order to avoid putting it. Because if you require ID, yeah. and if an ID costs money, you've put a tax on voting. Uh, that's why. That's my whole thing. Like, if you're going to require ID, you better make it free. And yeah. then if you want to drive the vote, you got to get people, do you not have an ID? We will drive you to the DMV and then you can go and get your free ID. Now you can vote. Mm-hmm. I'm for that. Okay. Uh, other changes would also make mail-in voting opt-in versus opt-out. So instead of everyone getting a mail-in ballot, only the people that ask for it will get one. I don't like that one. I don't know. Whatever the case, uh, these are all proposed. Nothing is set in stone. If you live anywhere near a group of monsters taking over an intersection to drift their cars, do donuts, or street race, this is music to your ears. Metro, Clark County, and NDOT, they join forces to add rumble strips that cross an intersection where no one lives. Great. Uh, it's at Grand Valley Parkway in US 93, which is a couple miles off Interstate 15 in the Northwest, like where no one lives, but it's near, like, I guess, a gas pipeline. So there, there was street racing going on, and when, like, they needed to bring uh-huh. the trucks back and forth, they were delayed because th- people t- took over right, the one right, road right. back to the 15. Wow. Um, they say that if you do a donut in this intersection, because they have rumble strips that, like, cr- like cross the intersection like in an X, uh-huh. it's going to shred your tires. Wow. Love it. Love yeah, it. They, there's a an intersection right behind, l- literally right behind my house, and cars do it all, all the time. All the time. Because you live on the edge of the valley. Yeah. I live on the edge of the valley. But like this is like in between there's like an apartment complex, houses, my house, and then a water basin. So, um, and it's so funny because if you are at my wall in my backyard and you look down, you can see everybody else's backyard. And yeah. every time it happens, you see all of us like yeah. Karen's out there with our phones. Knock it off. I have Googled the cost of spike strips. <laughs> It's bad. Because All I want to do is just throw them It scares me so bad because we're on that corner lot that if something, if somebody spins out, they're hitting my wall. Yes, exactly. Happens all the time. Oh, and then I'll get an HOA thing. Tell me I have to fix my wall. <laughs> Four hours after yeah. it happens. It's ridiculous. Uh, no word as to whether or not they add, plan to add this to more populated areas, but uh, I have a hint. Uh, they should. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of streets, more construction. Yay! Uh, starting Sunday, Eastern Ave going to be brought down to two lanes for repaving between Serene and Silverado Ranch Boulevard. That project expected to last through mid-June. Mm. Fun. It's not all bad news for Henderson, though. Lotus of Siam planning a fourth location wow. down by Henderson West next Very year. Very cool. You would have known that if you went to 1027VGS.com. Stories there. Uh, the Knights beat the Oilers in Edmonton, but last night the Oilers got revenge at the Fortress. VGK losing 7-4. Goalie Jonathan Quick pulled. Knights back on the road tomorrow night against the Sharks. Weather cloudy. Chance of rain throughout the day. High in the upper 50s. Wind gusts as high as 50 miles an hour expected through tonight.